changing of the guard at Burlington College. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. Stephanie's off tonight. Today, Burlington College's Board of Trustees answered questions about the resignation of President Christine Plunkett. In the meantime, the school has appointed a transitional leadership team. WPTZ's Jack Thurston joins us live in the newsroom with the latest. Jack. George, an experienced team is now in place here. Mike Smith, with his long resume in state government and as state president of Fairpoint Communications, will serve as interim president of the college. CPA David Coates is on board as financial advisor. And Burlington City Councilor and UVM professor Jane Nodell will work in an academic advisory role. We also know a little bit more now about that resignation which came in the middle of a strange and aggressive student protest. At first, it was unclear if that was an official resignation, but Burlington College's board chair said over the weekend he reached Christine Plunkett and she told him, yes, in fact, her resignation was official. I won't sugarcoat it. Emergency appointments to stabilize Vermont's Burlington College after the school's president suddenly quit Friday. I resign. We were going to be perceived as a ship without a rudder. Board Chair Eves Bradley announcing an interim president, academic leader, and financial advisor. This is going to take some hard work. It's going to take some probably some difficult choices. The liberal arts school has been struggling to balance revenues from its small enrollment, fewer than 200 students, with a recent massive investment. The purchase of a lakefront campus left the school more than $10 million in debt, and at just 42 years old, without a large endowment or a base of deep-pocketed donors, the financial pressures are significant. This college has never had money. I mean, let's be very clear about that. It never has. This is a college that has always operated on a wing and a prayer. Bradley believes those pressures were weighing heavily on the school's president of two years, Christine Plunkett. Students revolted against her Friday, swarming her car and demanding she get out of their community. Okay, I resign. Happy. Goodbye. I feel elated. The board said Tuesday that tense scene was not a moment to celebrate because leaving Burlington College leaderless could have caused lenders to lose faith. But the board also said it believes in the school's mission of serving non-traditional students and vowed to rebuild Burlington College's reputation and boost enrollment. Burlington College is an important part of the higher education ecosystem of Vermont. And two of the interim administrators said they will not take paychecks for their work as part-time advisors. The interim president, Mike Smith, said he's committed to at least three months on the job for $8,000 a month. And on the topic of pay, reporters today asked if Burlington College owed Christine Plunkett a severance package or if she had a contract. The board chair, Eves Bradley, declined to answer those personnel questions. In the newsroom, Jack Thurston, WPT.